Alright, so now we're going to be taking a look at writing scripts to remove keys. Now, if you are a log reader, it's important to know how to create registry scripts because you will know that not, uh, well, hijack this, first of all, doesn't see everything, and second of all, hijack this doesn't scan every, at least not as many locations. And it, ever since it was acquired by Trend Micro, it just stopped being updated. So it's really missing out on the boat. So I'm going to be deleting Trend Micro's key here, which was used by Hijack This, as you see. And I'm going to be showing you how to write a script that Registry Editor uses to delete that key. So if you're trying to help somebody else out and um, you couldn't see what their computer looked like or well you couldn't be there to actually handle registry editor you don't want to try to tell them what to do you have them open notepad copy and paste the following text in I'm actually gonna write it out for you so you have to specify the registry editor version uh, technically registry editor version 5 will work but what we're gonna do is use regedit 4 because it works and you don't need to type as much in and we're going to delete the key deleting a value and changing values is slightly different so you need you put the key in brackets so I'll make a set of brackets and you copy the key in right here this will tell regedit to create a key as long as the key isn't there that is but you put a minus before the key inside the brackets this is now going to tell Regedit to remove a key. If I wanted to remove multiple keys, the syntax is the header space text space two well two enters new text, but we're not going to put the, that text in there. Now, let's say that we want to take Trend Micro here and not thin print Trend Micro and hijack this and we have uh, this value here called win width we're gonna remove this value because we have no value in keeping this value um, no we're not gonna remove that value because we're gonna be deleting the whole key so it's not gonna be there anymore so we're going to be deleting this key VCG port so we're going to copy this key name here. This is the, this is how you remove values. So pay attention; it's different from keys. So you put your key in here in brackets, no minus sign, because we don't want to delete the key. We want to delete the value, because if you try to delete the key while you're modifying an app in it DLL, you're going to delete the whole app in it DLL. Uh, you're gonna well if you're trying to modify app in a DLL you're gonna delete the whole folder that all that's well key that all that stuff is in so you're gonna really hurt your computer so and then we have to go and get the value name so I'm going to copy that name and I'm going to paste it in here the value name goes in quotes and then it's to remove the value it's equals equals minus to change the value it's it would be equals and then um, in quotes the new value you want to assign right here I'm going to delete the value All right. to assign an empty value which is fine in some cases, like app in it DLLs, you probably want to assign an empty value instead of deleting the key. It will be uh, app in it DLLs equals two quotes with nothing in between, and that and that will set a blank value. But we're going to do minus and. If you want to delete more than one value under the same key, you don't put a space in between the values. You just do a new line and 
in quotes, type in whatever you want. So under this key it will check and then it will move on. So what do we do with this? We save as, we save as all files, which is important, very important. We'll do the desktop, we'll do it as fix.reg and click save. So now if we go here, we will see this file that we've created, type registration entries. If we double click on this, are you sure you want to add the information contained in this file to the registry? Yes, we do. And it was sex, uh, successfully entered into the registry. Now if we go back to registry editor, we will notice that first of all, that value is gone. And second of all, we can't find Trend Micro. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll be right back in the next video.